Hey boys and girls and welcome back to the channel. Today we are heading back to the high country. Um, heading to the beautiful town of Walhalla uh, to hunt down a piece of Australian history from way back in 1942. Uh, I've got Matt behind me, he's got the BT50 so yeah, between the two of us we should be able to scram something up I'm thinking. What do you reckon bud? We're going to find this plane or what? I oh, bet we're going to find something. It wasn't salvageable so I there's still probably a big chunk of it there. Wish I hadn't cleaned it. That's what I was thinking as well. I mean, from what, everything I've seen, it's on a uh, on a bit of a hill. There's not a, really an opportunity at a crane to lift something out. So I'm, like, my hopes are high. I'm hoping like a whole aircraft on the ground, but look, if we find uh, fragments or an airframe or something, anything, I'll be happy. So worst case scenario, I bought the detectors and we'll start digging for it. Yeah, sweet. And uh, look, worst case scenario, we don't find it. We'll do a bit of fishing anyway. I did bring the rods mate, I did bring the rods, so we'll see how we go. We might be able to get a bit of a catch and cook going on. But you don't like fish, so I'll, I'll, you do the cooking, I'll do the eating. Sounds good to me. Come on mate, let's get after it. Right, Cooper's Creek it is. It's gonna be definitely the shorter way around than tracking all the way up through Bore Bore. But um, we had 10, 15 minutes, but it's not the end of the world. Just looking at the map, I'm reckoning there might be a um, bit of a shortcut. Way I look at it here, we go all the way down the Abbeyfeldy Bridge, the track up to where the wreck is, I think, is a management vehicle only track. So this other one, just back a little bit, might get us close with the cars, might only be a couple hundred meters walk as opposed to a kilometer or something. Sounds good to me. All right, rip a U banger and head back. Might be a track track. I'd rather drive a track than walk a track. We'll see if we can get as close as we can and Especially go from there. Just drive. Yeah. Not for me. <laughs> no. Alright, let's go. Looking at it, plane track right in front of me. There's a little bit of history for you, my friend. Unknown shanty. This is the location of the shanty slash hotel site in the 19 or the 1860s. What were they doing out here? Not exactly the first place I'd look for a hotel. And sure enough, the track's blocked, so we're gonna have to leg it. Alrighty. <laughs> we made it. Now starts the real work. We're gonna have to leg it in and try and find this plane. I, I reckon I've got it nailed with the research that I've done. I've got it stuck on the map on the iPad on my HEMA, which is on my phone as well, so. We should be within sort of 50 to 100 meters of it, but I mean, it is thick bushland, thick. So 
we could walk 10 meters past it and not see a thing. But we'll see how we go. I'm sorry, but you aren't getting a management vehicle through this. Not on your you best day. If you get a vehicle through this, I'll bear my ass in Dirk Street. <laughs> I wonder if salvage fishing wasn't on the cards. It's some pretty dense bush. It's thick. That is for sure. Seems to be some sort of track. I don't know if this is like... Maybe I got it wrong. Maybe this is a well-visited plane wreck. Oh, look. Signs of humanity. Uh, no, you, you got to add your piece. Go on, put a piece on. Get yourself a beauty. That's a nice one. Nice little bit of sleet here. Don't knock it. It's nice. Now I think we're just I think we're just getting too far from the yeah. top now. It's starting to go downhill in the wrong direction, I think. Yeah. Into the poo we go, into the pus. I did not think it'd be this thing. Oh, no one knew. This is bad. I mean, I knew it was going to be thick and I knew it was going to be steep, but I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> I mean, it could be for everyone at home. This thing could be 50 meters that direction. And that's where we came from. Where we came from, nearly touching that tree. So you're literally going to have to like walk on top of this thing to find it. Cut your foot on something of it. Oh, there's big steep hill below us. Big steep hill above us. Could be could be on the right track, just not far enough. Who knows? We don't. Keep hoofing it, I guess. We've got like, a few hours, at least, of walking. Oh, plenty. All right, let's go. Plenty of time, it's only one. Take the lead, my friend. Yep. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> Not Gra grab onto that. It's slippery. It's the bark. It's the bark, yeah. Oh, I'm good. Check this out. That's where we came in. Yep. We mark where we came in, which is the top of the peak. To there, we've just missed it. So we're looking a little too high and a little too, too far. far south. Yep. So we go. So it's sort of down the mountain that way. Yeah. Back. <laughs> sort of the direction we came, but just down further. Fifty I think. meters this way. So based on that, if it's here, we've come this way and that way. We need to sort of come through the center. Yep. But. I don't know. Like I said before, here's a picture of the plaque. Well, that's a big tree. And we just gotta find the biggest tree around, but we need a clearing. Pick a tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's all we can do. Yeah. We just keep going in circles. Try find something. You only come out here if you're gonna find a body or hide it. <laughs> I don't know how long you can walk up and down hills for before you just give up. I mean, we have literally been out here for a good three or four hours. <laughs> like, and we have found not a trace of anything like... No plaque, no wreckage, 
no like disturbed soil from the last expedition no tracks no markers nothing zero like what we have found is a lot of um large fallen down trees head of the plaque was on one and she's gone over who's to say that it's i mean the plaque's invisible is it face down the dirt are we looking for something that can't be found is the bush taken over the wreck i mean i don't know i'm gonna call it yeah let's go fishing oh that sounds so good right now <laughs> let's go drink water and then let's go fishing yeah. we'll take the track back out back at the end of Aberfeldy bridge I'm gonna make a coffee. Catch a trout, maybe. Yeah, let's see. All right, are we calling it? Are we happy? Not happy, but calling it. <laughs> All right, let's go. That's it, we're done. I'm done with this bush. I'm done with it. But hey, we could probably say that we're as close as you could have come to being at the crash site without actually finding the crash site. Like everything I found online, we we are here, we are there. We, Chesa will probably circled it, who knows? Well, yeah, I don't know. Like but we, we've done a whole perimeter search for this thing. We've cut in and out. I don't know what more we could do. It doesn't, I don't think you can get closer. And I've not found any video anywhere of anybody else finding this thing. So maybe it's just not to be found. But if you have found it and you have the coordinates, please send it to Instagram. Yeah. To me on Instagram, All Aussie Outdoors, and we will come back. If you know where it is, let us know. We'll come back and have another look. But until then, I think it's fishing time. <laughs> it's fishing time. Let's go fishing. Look, regardless whether we found anything or not, it's a um, it's a pretty interesting bit of history. So it was back on the 19th of March, 1942. Uh, Captain Joseph McLaughlin was flying from Cameron to Laverton in a uh, P-40 Kitty Hawk, and uh, when he ran into some bad weather um, and impacted that peak we were just on. Uh, the story goes that uh, a man walking his dog, and I don't know how you walk a dog in that, but um, yeah, a man walking his dog located the wreck and then uh, years later they went back and researchers and uh, expedition teams went back and surveyed the site and uh, did a bit of a dig and actually found his wings and um, his revolver, his engraved revolver was found as well, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, look, it's unfortunate we didn't find anything, but look, we come we come so close to to where it was like we that, that's where he impacted uh, and, and unfortunately met his demise so i'm i'm happy to have at least been there and had a go and had a crack at it and have a look we come up empty-handed but you know what it's a pretty cool story and um, i've been looking at going and have a look at this one for a while and thinking about it and researching it but um would have been nice to find something but you know what it was uh it was just as nice to get out and have a go so I'll chop that up to a win. Coffee's on. Wait for that to boil and go catch some fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hopefully we do all right. Let's do it. What are you doing? Bringing my socks out because <laughs> uh, it was a bit deeper than I thought. Well, <laughs> well, oh. well, Matt brings his socks out and scares off everything with the smell of his feet. Mm. <laughs> I think that's a wrap, dude. Yeah, I think that's a wrap. We came, we saw, we got defeated. Not the ideal outcome, but uh, no, that's all right. It was yeah. fun. 
Oh, had a great day. It was a mission. <laughs> Can't say that again. <laughs> Real mission. I mean, we have a coffee. We flick some more lures, and then we circle back out of here. Go home. Cool. Um, okay. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. If you uh, like what you saw, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I dare say there'll be plenty more content coming in the future. Mm. Uh, merch. People have been asking about the hats, hoodies, t-shirts, singlets, all that sort of stuff. Um, if you are interested in any of that, uh, chuck a comment down in the comments below. Hit me on Instagram. Either one, I don't mind. I'll, um, I'll get back to you. And uh, yeah, we'll hook you up. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. See you on the next one. Sweet. We're just about to leave. We're literally just packed up. Everything's done. Nothing. Matt's got no power in his car. Nothing. Zero. <laughs> this is not what I want with drenched feet. <laughs> you got nothing. No power, no ignition. No lights, no nothing. Alright, let's have a look. Try and sort it. Come to life on its own. Thank God for that. That is not what we want. That is not what we want right now. No, but I ain't turning this thing off till we get home. <laughs> we do not want to break down out here tonight. We've got nothing for overnight travel. Well, let's get the f out of here before something goes wrong. All right then, let's go. All right. We are out of here. This is actually the end this time. Catches.